Hey guys, and welcome to Ethereum, Road to One Bill OSRS, a series on a pretty cool little um, economy and mechanics in place. Um, it, no, wait. A server with cool custom stuff going on and mechanics in place and a series where I'm going to be going for 1,000 1 mil OSRS tokens. Um, I'm probably not going to cash in on them because uh, that's probably going to get an account banned on Wordscape. <laughs> um, but I think it's just a cool way to showcase the money making on a server just to make a ton of money because it's like 500 mil per token. And in any case, I'm going to start a regular account, normal XP raise, no restrictions, generic starter pack, all that good stuff. I'm going to be playing on the Fast Stacks account. Yes. randomly boom and go yeah I'm just going to proceed and skip past the tutorial stuff and yeah we have some really lucrative voting get basically two mil worth of vote tickets bonus XP participation points soul points um, chance at lottery rewards and some vote streak stuff. So basically, you actually do just straight up get a streak reward. So things like um, bank boosters, um, the bone sack, which is an item that auto collects bones, will get upgraded, that sort of thing. You also have a 5% chance of just straight up getting a 1 mil OSRS token and a 1% chance of getting $50 of uh, donator tickets, basically. So I'm going to vote, but not right now. Uh, also, you start with 10 days of Super Donator to make the most of it and also to get you hooked on it. I'm going to skip the tutorial here and go straight in to my collection box where I have a red boater because fashion. Um, go ahead and grab my glory, RDK, boots, ruined gloves. And I'm going to go ahead and just... Oh, you need 32 defense. Uh, I'll bring the other stuff with me. And I'm going to go to the training zone. Uh, training zone is basically I go with Servant um, to a zone where I have to kill mobs he calls out. I get points for each, and I can get kitted out in my basic gear. It's going to take a bit, so I'm just going to skip right to getting there. I'm gonna also gonna get like drops and stuff on the way, and I'll show you all what I'm going to do after. There's also a system in place if you're on the Discord server where you can uh, every day claim some basic point stuff. You get participation points, Discord points, and bonus XP. Uh, participation points are traded at Gwir. Uh, you're not gonna get too much with them. I'm probably going to buy a mysterious box with my first 10 because that's going to be worth a chunk in the player owned shop, which is the chosen GE system of the server. If I can find... Ah, here it is. Yeah, mysterious boxes go for like 45 mil. Um, let's see, whips are like 5 mil, blah, blah. That sort of thing. So I think that this is a cool server to do stuff on because you have tons of pre EOC and OSRS items as well as customs. Um, if I go to the drop table, uh, Gorador. Uh, actually, he drops things fairly commonly, but he has a rare drop of a Bando's Whip, which is 83 mil, roughly. Uh, let's see... Sire, I think. Is Sire on here? No. Uh, Abyss. 
like you have gold and white whips generally just a lot of custom whips for some reason which are like, super expensive even crystal key pieces are super expensive which is weird but uh yeah so like I said, I'm going to go do my combat leveling and get geared up. Alright, got all my gear set up. I'm really curious why it's always, like, there's no cape upgrade in there. But, uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to hop right... <laughs> yeah, as it says, right into Slayer by going to DZ. I don't have to actually use the Slayer ring. This way I can just go straight to, I think, 110 Combat, Kuridel? Uh, no, no, I forget to sign. 75 for Kuridel, okay, gonna sign it from Simona. Oh, I can get one straight from Duradel, okay. Alright, 98 Dagonoth. So, the reason I want to do Slayer is because at 2000 points I can get a Vine Whip, which is one of the most top tier um, pieces of melee gear in the game. But first, of course, I'm going to want a black mask and to make a Slayer Helm. So, I'm just going to do a bunch of tasks. I do have a ton of miscellaneous, like, junk loot that I can just toss up, skilling materials, because they actually have value on the server. What a concept, right? Uh, let's see, noted, note, 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 where is the... Huh. Alright, so I'm gonna take the magic logs, which are awesome. The... Dragon bones, and the mithril bars, I... and maple logs. You logs. Yeah, there we go. Uh, and I'm gonna throw them in my... Uh, player owned store because if you examine them you can see U logs are 4k each, magic logs are 7k each, dragon bows are nearly a mil each, mithril bars are 8k each, and maple logs are 3k each. So uh, let me just make sure that maple. Yeah, you kind of want to. You want to price things like maybe. 1 GP lower. So 3492, I want to go in here. And I want that to be 3491. And so on for all the other skilling materials. This is the next day, but I actually forgot to go into my collection box and collect three sets of mysterious boxes and a Legends Cave, which I think is actually worse. Uh, I'm going to open four of these just to see what I get and then sell the other five. Two hours of game activity. Are you kidding me? Dang it. But on the other hand, that does show how quickly you can um, get geared up on this server. Uh, let's go ahead and check if any of my stuff sold. Uh, there's the shop. Store. Oh, everything sold. Wonderful. How much money do I have? 63 mil. Is that enough for tacits? No. Dang. Uh, Bando's Tassets are going to be my next big gear item. I should... I should just throw up... Oh, crap. I forgot voting is 12 hours. I need to do my votes again, but... Um, yeah, I'll go ahead and... Throw in five of these bad boys... Sell the... Cannot treat this item. What? But... Ugh, you can't sell the achievement once. 
uh, two hours to trade them, I guess to prevent account farming. Alright, well, I'm gonna actually go do my friggin' Slayer. <laughs> so, uh, there's a constant trivia thing where it's like, type this random string of characters, um, sort of like the one on Imagine where it was always just cash. But, I actually got a spare Zerker ring, which is actually f six mil. So, that's pretty sweet. Just getting a little extra cash on the side towards those tacits. Um, after tacits, obviously, I want to go for a BCP, but... Yeah, we'll see about that. Maybe I'll find something else that's going to be useful. Alright, I actually maxed melee combat just from that one slayer task. Um, I should be at two hours. Yes, I am. So, <clears throat> hitting those 99s has put some stuff in my collection box. I got like 40 mil in just pure coin, and I got even more mysterious boxes. So, the, I decided the way I'm just going to do this is I'm just going to open half of the boxes I get rounding down. So, put away seven of those and open six of these. What? <laughs> what the fuck? I just got the comic part. <coughs> what? What? I just straight up got the colored party hat. This is a customizable party hat. By the way. <laughs> just from a random box, you know. Want a green party hat? Sure. Want a black party hat? Sure. Oh my god. I, I can't sell that. That is too amazing. Oh my god. That is going in my a trophy tab, is what that's doing. And then I also need to make a selling tab. Just for like, quick, you know, clipping. But yeah, that, oh my god. What the hell? Eventually I am going to be maxing a couple times because this server does have a prestige system, but... Wow, Dagon High is another 6 mil. I assume pet cats... Pet cats are actually tradable. Huh. Oh yeah, there are also little auras which gives little bonuses, but they're usually not worth that much. But, uh, alright. I'm going to sell all of this stuff, I should put placeholders on. Actually, uh, placehold. There we go. God. There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna sell all this junk and... Hopefully that'll be enough for my freaking tacits. Because my god. I want gear. Not actually uh, done with the current Slayer task, but a bunch of my player-owned store stuff sold. Hopefully the expensive stuff sold. Oh, yeah. Oh my god, that was tacits three times over. Boom, gimme that 139 mil tacit set. Uh, I have 400 mil left to play with, so let's see here. Are there blessings? No, there are not blessings. Okay. Uh, next, vine whips are like a bill, I think. Vine. Yeah, oh my god, that's 12 bill. 
uh, primordial? No, that's ranging. Oh, and it's uh, steadfast for melee on this server anyway. That is worth it. It hurt, but it was worth it. Let's unnote that because that is some huge gear upgrading that just happened. So the boots are plus four strength and plus two to accuracies, and the tacits are plus two strength, plus one prayer, and those defenses. Big upgrade. That's plus one max hit on the boots. Um, next thing is probably going to be... Out of curiosity, how much is the rapier? Chaotic rapier. 550 mil. Okay, that's the next piece of gear that I think I want to get, though. Um, I can probably sell the dragon boots. For, eh, get 2.5 mil back out of them. To the Slayer grind that is going to be slightly more efficient. Uh, I'm probably gonna actually go buy some supplies from the shops though. Alright, I just went ahead and did some of the like basic um, achievement task things. I actually got a free vote ticket and a squeal of fortune ticket and I'm going to have a similar no, I'm just going to straight up use Squeal of Fortune tickets because I think that's just going to be more interesting. Um, which makes me realize there's a lot of pseudo-gambling on this server because you can get some utter crap from this, but you can also get 30 mil, which is significantly less than um, it goes for, but you can get up to like a Tebow. You can get premium tickets, which is actually the main reason I'm going to be using them. But we've also got three M boxes I want to open. None of which were of any real note. But hey, that's just how it goes sometimes. So that's another four M boxes and a vote ticket to sell. I want to go ahead and place hold that. And those. Yeah, the, things are going to be moving a little bit slowly because, well, not really, because I also want to go ahead and uh, knock out mining because a very good AFK money-making method is, uh, can you sell the Stardust itself? No, you can't. What the? Twisted Firestarter info. I have no idea what the Twisted Firestarter is, but um, you can get... Uh, gilded pickaxes from mining the, uh, what are they called, uh, shooting stars and trading in the stardust. So that's actually a decent AFK money maker as well as getting you easy skilling points. But yeah. Uh, I think I am gonna go ahead and... Let's see, what was it? 57... throw them in for 55 mil. Um, boat. Like, obviously I'm super new to the server, so some money-making methods might elude me. Some are going to be more obvious than they would be to others. Um, so hopefully things will be stay interesting. Uh, so for now, I think I am going to go ahead and do some mining just so that I can unlock um, being able to do shooting stars and then do wood cutting for evil trees. I'm actually not sure what the evil trees can give. Huh. But uh, I'll have to do some skilling. So I 
kind of went like up to 40 for the rune pickaxe and then immediately rushed off to do shooting stars but forgot how slow they are at that level and I don't feel like doing more mining and smithing so I did some wood cutting. So the gilded stuff is fairly expensive but I think the uh, dragon tools aren't and we can actually spend some slayer points to upgrade our dragon tools. So I'm going to run down to the player owned shop, collect my money, and just buy a dragon hatchet and a dragon pickaxe. Because they were pretty uh, cheap. Or at least the pickaxe was. Let me pick up my sold stuff. So dragon pick. Six mil. Alright. And... Dragon hatchet, three mil, and then I want to go back to DZ, come over to, I don't know, Curadel, because she's closest, and I want to buy 5x perfect dragon skills, which can be used to upgrade skilling tools, buy. So now I should be able to use that there. Oh. Oh, it's 600. Okay. So, we all learned something today. <laughs> Yikes. Alright, that was a mistake. Either way, I have the dragon tools now. Um, I did a little bit of wood cutting, but not enough to really cash in. Um, skilling really does not seem to be the most absurdly good moneymaker, but it's a decent AFK one. Um, with 148 mil. Uh, let me look at my current gear. Um, Ultimately, I want to upgrade the headgear to a uh, Slayer Helmet. I th how much is a, a chest plate? It's going to be another 300 mil, isn't it? Oh, wow. It's actually 100 mil. Okay. So I've actually got some pretty decent armor. I have Steadfast, I have Tacits, uh, so I need a better melee helmet. Uh, this is probably a silly thing to check. I don't know why I keep running all the way up to the regular bank, but how much is a Dwarva Helm? Okay, that's a bill. That, that's not gonna happen for a while. Uh, is, the knight is not really is just the best of the oh right prestiging, the best of the uh, melee helms, isn't it? Huh. Well, hopefully I'll be killing things fast enough for. You know what? I want a cannon. How much is a cannon? One bill on the market, although the low number makes me think it's something you can just buy from somewhere. Uh, let me just make sure, item, cannon, Let's see, Slash Bash drops the hand cannon, Cerberus drops cannonballs, Vedion drops cannonballs. Huh. I'll have to look into where you get it, but, uh, hmm. I'm gonna try some low tier bossing, I think. Uh, I bought sharks and potions from the shops. 
But uh, let's see here. If I go... Well, first I want to check if there are any PBM minigames that'll get me easy gear or anything. Uh, I could do a fight cave. Not right now, though. Most of these are PvP anyway, besides Barrows. So let's go... Bosses. Kraken is a mage boss. Black Knight Titan and Untouchable. Or Giant Mole. What does the Giant Mole drop? Dragon Hatchet. And Titan. He drops Black Satchel. Chaotic Kite Shield. Heraldic Black Armor. Black Spiky Van Braces. Blood Necklace, which is 164 mil. Dragon Sword, which is 33 mil. Dark Light, which is 400 mil. Black Mask. Close Girls. Alright, so the Black Titan. The Black Knight Titan seems like an alright boss for its rares. And I forgot to check Untouchable. Chaotic Longsword and Maul. Ooh, the Maul has got to be super expensive. 221 mil. Karasi. Archer Ring imbued. So you're going for rare drops, but the rare drops aren't obscenely rare on this server. Although, now I'm thinking about it, I need to get some prayer levels before I can do this effectively. Whoops. I'll just go get some, like, big bones or something and use them on the Nate is not altar. Just about to kill some green dragons, but I actually forgot I do have a Squid of Fortune ticket in the bank, so let's roll that. Because... I value fun over actual money making, possibly to a fault. <coughs> 20 mil. Yeah, that's about right. And let's do another roll because I voted. The 12 hour votes are kind of nice. Let's roll. Uh, you never cease to amaze me, game. 10 mil. At least I got all these votes. For... 2.9 mil. Freaking people. That has to be a merge with that many, come on. Oh well. So, yeah, I need to train freaking uh, Herblore now, as it turns out, because I need anti-fire so I can go kill uh, frost dragons, because I have the best bones. Alright, I really should just save all the rolls in future videos of this for one chunk or one clip, but... And there's a Lucky Divine Spirit Shield, 30 hours. He's a Divine Spirit Shield. Not even the one that works at Cerberus, man. Alright. I actually had to go make some anti-fires so I can go deal with uh, grinding out some frost dragons. Uh, speaking of which, how are their drop table? I know I checked before, but... Ooh, ooh, 10% chance to drop dragon tools, 4% for uh, crystal key pieces, and 1% for draconic visage. That's not actually too bad of a drop table. And to get there, um, I should probably bring, let's last 15 minutes, per, or 5 minutes per dose, that's 15 minutes of potion right there. I should be fine. 
Uh, get there by going to combat training. Yeah, combat training, Asgardian dungeon, just like in live RS. You just come all the way up here and click on the mysterious entrance, the Dungeoneering Resource Dungeon. And I don't think they have mechanics like at all. 90 Slayer? Since when? Okay, I guess I'm actually gonna grind out some Slayer before doing more prayer. Damn it. So, uh, on one Water Fiend task that I got because I was dumb and didn't just take a task from the high, lowest level master for point boosting, I got three tooth halves of keys, which are 56 mil each. So Water Fiends made me over 150 mil. Ooh, my vote ticket sold. So... <laughs> And they sell for, f oh, they sell for 40 mil. I, th I'm gonna try and merch. I'm gonna sell all these for 50 mil flat. And I have uh, one, two, three, four, six, seven. Obviously I'm not going to release Oh, the noted ones count separately, okay. Oops. Some of the interface stuff is a little janky, but, uh... Boom. Kinda sucks that they're separate listings, but still. I don't understand why people do that. But, what? Oh my god, I already sold one. Nice. Ooh, that's rough. Oh, that's rough. But, uh, I'm gonna do some Slayer boosting, and I'm gonna end the video here, and upload it once all that stuff is sold. And, um, because this has probably gone on way too long. So, uh, I will... See you guys in the next one, assuming people like this.